Let eternal life abide in you. 1 John chapter 2 and verses 24 and 25. Therefore, let that abide in you which you heard from the beginning. If what you heard from the beginning abides in you, you also will abide in the Son and in the Father. And this is the promise that He has promised us, eternal life. In John chapter 14 and verse 23, Jesus answered and said to him, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our home with him. Here is the spiritual validity about a true Christian's eternal life in the triune God. Since God has no beginning and no end, and they come and dwell with believers, it stands to reason that the elect to are granted the promise, the privilege, the special right, and the freedom to be in their presence forever. The church provides to the believers an opportunity to fellowship with like-minded people, even as there is a coming together to worship the Lord Yahweh. Christian fellowship in its true sense is sharing God. This works the second commandment of Christ as people love, share and care for one another. Hear the comforting words of our Savior and Lord Jesus Christ as he intercedes for us in and through John chapter 17 and verse 24. Father, I desire that they also whom you gave me may be with me where I am, that they may behold my glory which you have given me, for you loved me before the foundation of the world. How in keeping it is when Jesus Christ assured his followers that he will never cast out whom the Father brings and gives to him. In the words of Jesus in John chapter 6 and verse 37, All that the Father gives me will come to me, and the one who comes to me I will by no means cast out. So, dear loved ones, give your souls to God's keeping for eternity. Amen and Hallelujah. God commands, let eternal life abide in you. And that's in 1 John chapter 2 and verse 24 and 25. Therefore, let that abide in you which you heard beginning. If what you heard from the beginning abounds in you, you will also abide in the Son and in the Father. And this is the promise that He has promised us, eternal life. Do subscribe.